My name is Mark Barlow and I run Tour Swing Golf Instruction and today I'm going to give you some tips on how to improve your golf game. Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to chip a golf ball correctly. So to chip a golf ball you'll need anything from a 60 degree wedge to a 9 iron depending on how high you want to hit the shot. For me personally I use a 60 degree wedge. Step one is to position the ball correctly and the ball should be opposite the left heel. The stance should be relatively narrow. The club face should be facing towards the target and the foot lying square to the target. Step two is to break the wrists immediately on the backswing. You can see my club head has moved a long way but my hands and arm haven't moved very far. Step three is to accelerate the hands into impact, making sure the hand is leading the club head at all times. Step four is to finish with the arm and the club in a nice straight line. At no point should the club pass the hands. Step five, overall take the club back about 25% and then swing through about 75%. You need to be accelerating and aggressive into the ball and taking it back just a short amount allows you to do this. Step six is to ensure that the club hits the ball just before the ground. Okay, so in summary, we need to make sure that the golf ball is in line with our left heel, that we break our wrists immediately going back, that the hands lead the club head at all times into the impact, that the hands arms and club finish in a straight line at the end of the swing. So overall, take the club back about 25% and swing it through about 75%. And finally, make sure that we hit the ball just before the ground. And that's how to chip a golf ball.